Dear friends, it's day 918 of the unprovoked Russian invasion of Ukraine and new portion of fake accounts was traditionally exposed on Twitter. Belarusian aviation was scrambled to intercept a Russian strike drone, Putin lost another refinery, the famous Russian propagandist calls Russians to die. Let's talk about the most recent updates right now. The Belarusian OSINT project Belaruski Gayun, that is known for providing crucial information about the movement of the Russian and Belarusian troops, reported that Belarusian Air Force was used for the first time to shoot down a Russian drone. It is reported that the last night, around 3.30, the Shahid drone launched by the Russian terrorists entered the Belarusian airspace. According to the report, the Belarusian Air Force has been scrambled for the first time to intercept the target and the aircraft spent around 20 minutes trying to shoot down the Russian drone. And this, my friends, is what I call a legit smart weapon, because instead of attacking Ukraine, this drone was smart enough to divert towards the closest Russian ally. Shahed, we don't know your name, but it was a proper thing to do. Also, yesterday, Ukrainian Cotton QT has visited some of the biggest Russian refineries Atlas in the Rostov Oblast. Needless to say, it won't be functioning for a while. Also, according to the reports by the Russian monitoring channels, the firefighters ran out of foam to put out the flame. Apparently, the foam party in Rostov has been cancelled at this point. The legendary security service of Ukraine captured a bunch of blokes who said a surveillance center in Kyiv to monitor situation. One of them turned out to be a legit Russian officer of Gru Gesha, the atrocious terrorist group involved in poisoning people in the UK using Russia-produced combat chemical weapon. Now, there is notorious Russian propagandist called uh, Slotkov. He is known for producing tons of bullshit uh, using like old school Soviet propagandist handbooks. You know, uh, when I watch his videos about the ancient Russian race, uh, supreme Russian army and uh, other crap, it's literally as if I travel back in time into like 1939. That is the same dude who advocated for slavery in Donbass and many other cringy things. Recently, he published a new video where he criticized the commanders of the Russian army in Kursk. It is so hilarious, so I decided to share it with you, my dear friends. Полковник ставит задачу молодому комбату, капитану, говорит, давай вперед выдвигайся. Ну как, нас же перебьют всех. Ему сказали, что ты тупой капитан, иди вперед. И не размышляй, бери своих срочников и иди вперед. Нельзя так относиться к людям. Если ты надеваешь на них сапоги и даешь им в руки оружие, то он уже обязан сам стрелять и в первую очередь погибнуть. So, first of all, of course, Russian failure in Kursk Oblast is not Putin's fault. Of course, his plan was flawless. Uh, Putin cannot be wrong. But those stupid army men failed to perform their duties. Now, this is so typical for the Russian terrorists. The Tsar and his generals are the smartest blokes in the world. Is the common Russian people, you know, People to blame. People are always bad. They suck. And second thing I found absolutely hilarious is that the most popular Russian cult of today is the cult of death. It's not about saving lives. It's about dying in big numbers in a foreign country. This is what the Russian regime is teaching its slaves. Your task is to die for Putin, no matter if you're a young conscript or an old mobic. In Russia, you are born to be voluntarily sacrificed, or if you come from a different part of the world, uh, to fight for the white Orthodox Russian race. It's basically the same. And now the main story of today, my friends. American investigators exposed number of fake accounts on Twitter that were used to promote one of the American candidates running for presidency and uh, discredit another one. I'm sure that I don't even have to call names here. The journalists have discovered 56 accounts with thousands of followers. These accounts were actively pushing disinformation to their viewers, but it turned out that they didn't 
even exist in real life. The reverse search confirmed that the photos used in those accounts were either AI generated or snatched from the European fashion influencers, according to CNN and Center for Informational Resilience. Now, my friends, you may be asking yourself, who could create those fake accounts and why? And that's a really, really good question because I'm sure it wasn't an ordinary person. Usually creating a bot farm for a specific purpose involves a big, big team. The strategists uh, prepare an informational campaign, the client approves it or asks to fix one or two things in it. Then other people collect photos across the internet and train AI models to produce content. Uh, their SMM specialists don't even have to create the content themselves. Uh, they also invest into this tiny blue check mark next to the username to legitimize their bots. Speaking of the blue check marks, according to the policy of Twitter, this check mark symbolizes that the user has an active subscription and past identity verification. Given the fact that the accounts use stolen photos, apparently the identity verification on Twitter failed like uh, Prigozhin's airplane. Yet thousands of such verified accounts are used on Twitter to massively spread misinformation and propaganda. Guys, it seems funny because we all have personal life, but there's literally people out there who spend their time developing strategies, creating fake accounts, and of course, this labor is paid. Ask yourself, why would people do that and what kind of people are they? Also, ask yourself, is fake account used to spread disinformation is something that can be considered a freedom of speech uh, or a proper utilization of social media? And uh, is it even something that ordinary people would do for a living? If the answer is a big no, then I'm really happy that uh, I have you among my viewers. With that, my friends, I wish you a beautiful day. Please share your thoughts in the comments. I'm Operator Starsky. As always, be safe.